God is good, and with each day that passes, brings us a day closer to the launch of Pantheon Rise of the Fallen. This is the Nathan Napalm channel, and if you are new here, please consider subscribing, especially if you're interested in Pantheon-related content, old-school MMOs, JRPGs, RPGs, all that kind of thing. Guys, today... I am very super psyched to talk about what was literally just announced in the newest development live stream. And that is that you can, it is official that you can climb on anything. You can climb up anything. So any, you see it, you can climb it. Now, there, of course, they're going to have to do restrictions and they didn't go into a, a ton of detail on it, right? So I'm thinking uh, something along the lines of, you have so much stamina or a certain stat, you run out of it, you fall, you slip, you know, or what have you. So you, you learn and, and it'd be something that as you level up, you, you kind of uh, sort of acclimate to or what have you to be able to climb better. Or maybe it's its own skill, a climbing skill. Who knows? They can take this in so many cool directions. But the, the thing we know is that you can climb on anything. So think Breath of the Wild, right, where anything is climbable. Uh, think about the weather acclimation and how detailed Pantheon is on that. I have a lot of videos if you're not aware of that but think of that and then combine it with climbing so and then think breath of the wild right remember back joppa for many many streams now he's been sipping out of that breath of the wild cup and i got a couple of things we'll talk about in just a minute on that but definitely that was a bean drop I, I said it was back if you look back on a video i made i was saying i think there's something up with that he's trying to hint something at us so they must have been uh, implementing that in the game or realizing for sure it's a direction they wanted to go but the cool thing is, is you just have to imagine how much more explorable, how, how much more fun, all the hidden little secrets and Easter eggs and, and secret little spots up on the up on a cave, uh, you know, a little cave tucked away in a little corner of a mountain. All the things that make the that are going to make this game so much more fun to just run around and wonder. I wonder what what if. I wonder if I did this. What if I was if I climbed up there? It looks like there might be something over there. That kind of thing. That kind of exploration is really what drives people to really get into a world, right? There is so much world building type activities in Pantheon Rise of the Fallen that I will make a separate video just kind of breaking down what is so cool about Pantheon that really sets it apart. And there's so many, right? That, but the world, that's where it all comes in because they're super, super into making sure that this is a world that you want to spend time in you want to explore full of mystery full of intrigue full of adventure and they're really pulling it off man i, I can't i just I'm, I'm imagining an mmo where i can literally climb any environment i want to and it's blowing my mind now a couple of questions came up during the stream some really good ones such as what about pets can they climb are they just gonna poof appear when you get back on solid footing i never really got a clear answer on that um i'm sure that's something they probably haven't really got into actually developing or making work i'm sure for now they at least poof up to the top i could care less that's just uh that's kind of one of those things that doesn't matter right but a really good question somebody asked i thought was what about enemies right can enemies climb too because otherwise you gotta think about it you get a big train of mobs you hop on a cliff face or a cavern wall or whatever's closest to you and you climb up some out of the reach and you sit there and you call for help what have you so it kind of it's kind of like an immersion breaker right at that point so he didn't answer how they get away with it he, he gave some guidance as far as some things that might happen like if it's a spider or whatever you know a spider just climb up there with you or something that can spit venom so or or anything with ranged attacks obviously that kind of thing also it uh, immediately of course to me uh i'm thinking well there's probably a stat behind this climbing right like they don't want us literally climbing infinitely wherever we want this would become a very bizarre world if they do that right so uh, there's got to be a stat or a time limit or a something attached to the climbing i'm sure as we get more details we'll find out more about it but i'm sure there will be to where you can't literally just hang on to a wall for an infinite amount of time or forever and go way up k hanging on a, a cat cavern wall 700 feet off the ground right i just don't think that's how it's gonna be i think jump has been drinking out of that breath of the wild mug for quite a while now on live uh and he mentioned some other things that kind of tied to breath of the wild i said i would talk about it so you got the climbing which is a huge feature in breath of the wild one of the one of the many reasons that that game is so explorable and it always just feels like that you might find something nobody's ever seen or or, or you know just the adventure level goes up quite a bit from the climbing in that game but also 
He mentioned the acclimation, you know, having a torch in your hand does provide, that's heat, that's a heat source, so, you know, that is a little bit of acclimation towards you against cold, or sitting at a campfire does provide warmth, that kind of thing, so once again, feeling very Breath of the Wild. Now, I'm going to make a totally separate video about the acclimation, about the AI and the UI, and all the information that was covered here recently, but I just absolutely had to get the news out to you because I'm super stoked, I mean, I'm so excited I can barely contain myself in order to speak to you through this microphone and, and make this video because the climbing climbing anything that's just huge my imagination just goes wild with all the strings we've seen the dungeons we've seen the world we've seen and thinking about that i can climb for example think of black rose keep remember you know, if you think about when they're, you're coming up on the entrance of, there's kind of like a balcony thing, right? So, and 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 you can go through the, up the stairs and all that kind of thing and get up there and come out on that side. But if you can climb anything, you could get to a group that might be there and not have to run through a bunch of mobs if you could climb up there. If you have the ability or the stat check, whatever it takes to get there. So, that's there's so many things that, that could come from this and it's super exciting and it's not like an MMO's never had climbing. Of course they have. You just got to expand your mind and understand that no MMO has allowed you to climb any surface. As a matter of fact, I can't think of another game that actually allowed that besides Breath of the Wild. So it's kind of a new thing in gaming altogether. But put that in an MMO and you have something really special because of the intricacies of a world filled with other people and filled with so much in such a huge world and such an intricate world and such a world that is made to be explored, right? And then uh, throw in the dynamic of being able to climb any surface with, they gotta have some kind of restriction there as far as how long, etc., like we discussed, but just having that ability, right? And I really like the idea, and they did not confirm this, right? This is just theory talk, besides that all surfaces are climbable, but I really like the idea of thinking that it's a skill. It's something that you kind of level up, that you get better at. You skill up, I should say, at climbing. The more you do it, the more you practice it, kind of like swimming in, in EverQuest or many examples we could give there, but climbing being something that you work at to get better at. I think that'd be really cool. It'd be something I would do. Like, I could see being like, hey guys, uh, you know, from the guild, from the Knights of Napalm, let's get together and let's, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna climb, uh, we're gonna do a climbing session. We're gonna try to climb this mountain tonight and level up our climbing skill. And that be an actual event for the night is actually climbing up a mountain and, and that'd be something that we go out and do run into a couple of mobs here and there and take them out etc go on a whole adventure that's actual goal wasn't to xp wasn't to get loot wasn't to acclimate or get any type of item or glyph or anything was actually just to climb and level or skill up our climbing ability that adds up yet another of the, what are we at, what are we at, thousands now of layers that Pantheon's putting into their game. It's freaking ridiculous, man. It's like, uh, they take a feature, and they told us that climbing was going to be a big deal, that this was going to be feature rich, this was going to be a robust climbing feature. But, you know, I just thought, okay, cool, you know, climbing, it is cool, and you can put things in all over the place, and we won't realize we can climb it till we try, and that'll be fun, and I already like the idea. Now, I just can't get over it, and it's almost like that's my favorite feature almost now. I, I, I can't get it out of my brain how cool it's going to be to be able to do that. So what do you guys think? What do you think about the climbing any surface and how crazy that is for an MMORPG to do that? It's something they apparently got working in the game or at least they're testing it, etc. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Give me some ideas you think or some questions you have about it or let's discuss it in full detail what you think about this crazy new feature that they announced tonight. And guys, of course, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. This is what we do here. We talk about news, information, going on in Pantheon Rise of Fallen, and some other MMORPGs. But of course, Pantheon's the main focus here, because that's a game I'm super, most ridiculously looking out for and super hyped about. Guys, until next time, though, God bless, and happy gaming. Listen to what I say. I've been making videos all day. My friends all say I'm. It's a video buffet. You can even hit replay. But please just subscribe. I can't even describe. Be a part of my tribe. I'll even offer you a. Pay.
rat, but just please just subscribe and hit the bell notification too.